Welcome back, everybody, to Feudal Alloy. Brand new game for me. If you have not looked at the quick check of the menus, that's episode zero. No big deal. Episode one is where it begins. Let's hit a new game. Yeah, I did, as I mentioned earlier, I did check this out so that I would have an opportunity just to make sure that everything was recording properly. Otto was just your average farmer robot who lived at the edge of a small village. He'd spent his entire life taking care of retired, veteran robots. He oiled their rusty bodies using sunflower oil, which was made from sunflowers that he had grown himself. The job wasn't an easy one, but it was immensely fulfilling for him to provide a useful service to others. His job gave him the opportunity to hear lots of interesting stories from the elderly robots. They told him of how they had spent their lives traveling to faraway countries and had fought in many significant battles throughout history. Atu had always wanted to travel too, but his plans always came crashing down around him before he had even gotten started. Atu also knew only too well how dangerous the creatures in the local surrounding woods were. So why would he risk traveling beyond the boundary of his home village? Then, one quiet summer's afternoon, the village was suddenly ransacked by a gang of robot bandits. They stole all of the vitally important oil supplies he needed to care for the retired robots as well as valuables from local residents. Atu was concerned and didn't really know what to do, but he had a strong feeling that he had a responsibility to help the other villagers and decided to bravely go against his gut and venture into the dangerous woods. He borrowed a rusty sword from one of the elderly robots and set off on a mission to reclaim the stolen oil that the villagers so desperately needed to survive. The best clandestine escape route that Atu could think of was traveling through the interconnected cellars underneath the village, which were designed to protect people from enemy attacks during wartime. And with that, we have begun. All right, left stick. We're going to run back and forth. I've got my little orange goldfish in here. I'm, come on, I like it. I don't know why. All right, X is a jump. The square is the attack. And now you'll notice how he begins to overheat. Look at, that is effectively the stamina gauge. It's the overheat gauge, the circular gauge in the top left corner. And as activity increases, once that's overdone, yeah, you can't, you can't even attack. And you can jump though, so that's good. And jumping does not seem to modify or mess with that stamina at all. So that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. That means that we can jump and run, I guess. Can we, by the way, okay, clicking the left stick does nothing. Uh, the right stick goes and looks up and down at the moment. Okay, very good. Right arrow, no, left arrow. Down arrow brings up the menu, which we can use the triggers to go through. I believe this is where my permanent system upgrades will go as I find them throughout the game. And um, some missing necklaces or other items. Looks like I see some armor items and so forth that are currently missing. So we're going to be looking for those. This looks like it is the select your equipment panel. And I should... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go down. Okay. You can use the arrow key to... And it looks like you can throw things away. Down there in the bottom left, right right above where my square is at, it looks like I can use the square to throw something away. If I wanted to do that. And this looks like it might be the map screen. And this looks like a triple upgrade tree. So to the left looks like perhaps weaponry. To the, In the middle looks like... Uh, it's a horseshoe. That's kind of interesting. I'm guessing, though, based on the castle and the shield, that that is going to be defense. And to the right tree, looks like it's going to be cogs and so forth, different improvements, like maybe jumping or jumping farther or something of that nature. So that'll be 
that'll be fun. And then uh, these are, yep, the rewards that we already had looked at. I can I figure out how to get to, okay, I'm in the left pane, and I don't know how to get to the other panes, but maybe we'll figure that out as we enter into this trial area. Okay, we can hit this barrel and pick up a couple of things. I don't know what they are, but I can pick them up, so that's good. Um, okay, so when you see the wooden boards on the side of the wall, that's something you can break into. Oh, hi. So, I can't, I can see an oil can up there I'm supposed to get, apparently. Can I knock it down? Okay. And down arrow? No. Oh, down on the left stick. You found some oil. Oil is actually very important. It's your body's life source. You can drink it, pressing the use oil button, which is left one. Okay, well, uh, let's hit left one. Oh, and you can see there on the top, my health gauge was almost empty. It is now refilling. So that is, that's cool. Ah! Uh, okay, so there was an electrical problem there, and that's probably why they gave me the oil to heal me. Let's see if there's anything. Doesn't appear to be anything there. Okay. Let's, uh, there we go. You don't have to hit anything to grab a hold of it, but I can see I'm overheating here. Uh, 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 okay. I like the little sound, the little hat. Eh -eh. Oh, can't go through there. Um, okay, so I'm not taking damage overheating. I guess. Uh, I, okay, that sign says I can go up, but I can't go up. I can't break that. Okay, so we're just going to follow this path. And hit up. And what do we have here? You found some cooling liquid. This kind of stuff can decrease your body temperature. You can drink it. Pressing the use cooling button, that's R1. Okay, so I have two of those cooling. Uh, and it looks like top right corner, I've got 10 units worth of cooling, whatever that means. Let's cool off. Oh, and it freezes my gauge, that's nice, I like that. We can break that. And I guess I got everything and I'm overheating again already. Okay, so let's just climb leading the heat and you can see my thermal gauge is going down so that stamina is thermal not just stamina okay that's interesting i like that it seems fun what we got here and can i pick up this oil or do i break you oh picking it up and now i've got three heels oh look and you can see them they are in the center of the top right hand gauge cluster like it. I like it. Cute. So I didn't look and see how old this game was, but you know, I, I've been watching the uh, oh, collapsed. I've been watching the embroidery game development by Atu Games of the um, Scarlet Deer Inn, and the demo was a huge amount of fun. I saw that they had this, and I thought, in the spirit of exploration, I'd give it a shot. Besides, I have to test out the brand new PS5, so this gives me, gives me a pretty good chance to do this. Super excited about it. What do we got? Can I get, oh, yes we can go down here. So I gotta press down and hit X to do that. And these look like they would hurt me. And this looks like stuff I can pick up. All right, I don't know what any of that is for. And I think that's picked up everything. I guess. I'm, I'm kind of crouching down to see. Doesn't look like there's anything else there. Okay. Jump up and go on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Um, lots of oil towers here in the background. Can't do anything with them, though. There's a dead, uh, dead soldier in a door. All right. So do I have to go... Oh, no, there's a ladder. I see it. Go up the ladder. And hello. Got, uh, got whatever those are. 
and some pieces parts. I'm assuming those parts are going to be used for upgrade. Oh, hello. It's going to be used for upgrades later, right? Ah, there we go. Now we got to turn around and come back. All right. Cute little, ah! Cute little jumping puzzle. <laughs> All right. Cool. We can take this. Pick all of that up, and then arrow down. Go oh, up. So press the jo left joystick up in order to activate the door. And uh, I will go in. Very good. All right, this is as far as I've been able to go. So I have no idea what is next. This is truly... Now, let's see. The uh, left trigger is healing. Let's go ahead and take a glug of oil. Right? And what do we got here? All right, let's go up first. Seems like up might be what I want anyhow. Okay, hold on. Jump up. Jump. And I'm assuming just like any other Metroidvanias, I'll get some double jumps and maybe some flying jumps or some double pounds or... Lots of pieces, parts laying around. Let's pick them all up. I want them all. Oh, is there any way? No. Okay, I'm going to be hitting walls from time to time because I'm not sure that I'm seeing all of the things that they're showing us. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see it. Uh, okay, it's totally stationary enemy, and uh, yeah, and I and I I didn't see it. Okay, so let's go up here. I want to kind of go down too. Well, there was a ladder there. Should we go to that ladder? Or should we go up here? Oh! Oh, that was a save! And I'm healing! Oh, nice! Alright. Alright, cool. We got a, a little. Okay, you, you can do a pogo jump. So, Hollow Knight fans rejoice. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a dead bird up in the cage. All right, and uh, you are a shopkeeper. All right, let's see a little bit about what we have here. Tiny oil can cost 50, and I have 80 credit monies things, right? So I have 80, that takes 50. Tiny cooling glass. Liquid nitrogen can instantly reduce your body temperature. A tiny firecracker. Does some low damage to any foe you throw it to. A small Molotov. Some peasant bronze hand. That gives you some an armor and a damage, I guess, right? I don't have any of the money for that. A peasant bronze chest. Tiny shock bomb. Does little damage, very little electric shock. Okay. Freezing petard does little damage but can freeze machines. Rustic iron legs. Cooling speed and armor. Okay, and a rustic iron head. Okay. Overheat temperature and armor. Does it tell you how much? Um, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. Doesn't tell you how much it does. Okay, so each one of these pieces, okay, so this is cooling speed and armor. This is overheat temperature and armor. Oil capacity, so you can get more health, I'm guessing. That's oil capacity and cooling speed. Ordinary copper legs, cooling speed and cooling speed. All right, cooling speed and damage. Armor and overheat temperature. So you can mix and match quite a few things here if you save up some money. A wrinkled iron head. That looks kind of like a cupcake. Um, simple steel chest, hands. All right, we can just kind of go through this. Ooh, bronze silence. Gives you two points worth of damage, I'm guessing. One point of damage, one point of armor. Damage and cooling speed. And an iron peacekeeper, steel defender, iron slicer. Okay, I am, I am super appreciating all of the above. I don't know which one of these is going to be better for me, but... Uh, I can't do anything else here. Why are you punching? There is a hamster in a wheel running this robot. Look at his face. <laughs> um, what is with... 
What's the, what's the red, big red button? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. All right, there's nothing to do here. All right, let's get out of here. Poor dead bird. Um, what is in the woods? Okay, there is a yellow arrow going to the right and a red arrow going to the left. That's very, I guess, very interesting. I'm not 100% sure. And a ladder. Let's go back. Now that I've saved that, let's, I don't want to miss things. Let's go up here. But I also want... Okay. I can't do anything here. It looks like maybe I have to have a key card for this. All right. Let's go back in here. There was a passageway that went down. I'm kind of curious about where it went. Oh, hello. More. So maybe I should just farm money this way? Is that is that what we're being invited to do? I mean, we're getting 10, 10 monies per... Are they cogs? Are they wheels? Are they monies? I don't know what they are. Ooh, a chest. I'm interested. All right. And uh, we're getting 110 there. Pop. Oh, we got our arms. Hey, let's take a look at the... Let's see if I can figure out how to take a look at this. Okay. So what do we have here? This will give me more armor than I currently have. Let's go ahead and use them. There's no reason, right, not to, as far as I know. So, and you can see they did change. So we had the farmer's iron hands, and now we have rustic iron hands. Yep. So we have a little bit more armor now. That is cool. I like that. Can't go that way. All right, go up. Ooh, money, 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 money. We'll take the money. Absolutely. I wonder if that that looks like I can go in there. Yes, I can. Uh, was there anything else in here? I want to come back in here, but I want to make sure that I've... Oh, you, uh... He just came back right away. Okay, not that that's a fast way to make money, but if I was really interested in grinding up some cash, I guess I could do that, right? All right, I like the music. All right, can't go that way. Let's go this way. Then. Come on, let's go this way. There we go. And we go down. And so far, it's just a collect items spree. I can live with that. Uh, okay. And these are my first... Okay, I gotta be careful how I uh, deal with those enemies, I guess. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to hit and run. And uh, try not to get hit, obviously. Don't get hit, hit it till it dies, right? That's the, uh, that's the rule. All right, we can do that. Nothing, nothing else going on here. Here in the caverns, pick that up. Whoop. Poorly done. Poorly played. Welcome to the future plays poorly. If you haven't figured that out, not yet. You have not been paying attention. Money, money, money. I'll take it. All right. Okay, that was fun. So it's just a collecty game so far. Surely. Surely it gets more difficult as time goes on. I'm sure it will, and I will be complaining about the difficulty at some point. Speaking of difficulty, I needed a break after Radon, the consort of Mikola. My goodness, I thoroughly, I really, really did enjoy the Elden Ring DLC. Um, I didn't really weigh in at the end on that, but I uh, did watch a few videos since then, and I would agree... Uh, was the take on some of the other videos, and that is the overall loot drops were, uh, shall we say substandard? Yeah, we shall. We shall say substandard. Not totally thrilled with the loot drops, but... Now, I wonder, I am really curious if the, um... I know the, the enemies respawn. Can we really quick check and see if... It doesn't look like the loot boxes respawn, right? So let's 
just go ahead and whoop. Okay, yeah, not you. Go away. Yeah, okay, the loot boxes did not respawn. It does look like just the enemies. Okay, well, should I go ahead and take them out? Just because I can. Yeah. All right, not doing so good on that. Get a little drink here. And... Whoop. Not good. Not good. All right, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. All right. Nothing else going on here, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of these, and I'll meet you right back up top. All right, back uh, back heading out in here, and we'll, we'll head up the way. And I might as well go ahead and get my 10 coins from him. Right? Yep. All right. Well, the money... I mean... The money is coming. It's not coming really fast. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and take care of you two. Just because I can. I don't know if there are other upgrade components that I'm actually collecting or not with that. Nevertheless, plenty of fun. Okay. Now, there is a pit that goes down there. I'm a little bit inclined to check it out. Here's the save. And uh, I don't think I have the opportunity really to buy anything here, but I'm going to look... Real fast. No, yeah, these are all like 1500, 1400, 1600. Okay, well, that's. I'm a long way away from buying a upgraded sword, and there might be an upgraded sword out there. So, who knows, right? Let's let's take a dive. Bop. Oh. Bop. Bop. Oh, this seems slightly dangerous. <laughs> Okay, no, can't go in there just yet. What is... Is it tough to grass on that? Okay, that's fine. Can I not? There we go. All right, that is a little bit... Um, I don't want to say sketchy. A little bit touchy. Touchy is the word I want. Do you want to go up or down? Should we go up or down? Let's go down. Oh, hello. Another mechanism. Whoops. What just happened? But it all turned green. Is this where? Is this where I do upgrades? Maybe. This looks like maybe a place where upgrades are going to take effect. All right. Well, we're not going to worry about you just yet. Let's give it a few more minutes here. Another key card. Um, all right. Down. So far, pretty linear. I'm sure those guys are going to start moving soon. All right. I can hear some marchers. Okay. Okay, that was good. You can jump up and down on him like that. Can appreciate. Can appreciate. Okay, you cannot jump off the ladder. I was hoping I could jump off the ladder and get over to that other area. Alright, we're just gonna deal with you as it comes. And you. Good, whoop. Come on, up, across. Okay, now we're gonna have to come around, I think. Gonna be plenty of stuff here. And alright, I don't know where I am. Just like any other Metroidvania, I'm gonna be so, so very lost. Oh, hello. Uh, how do I get you? Oh, nope. Okay. Can't just jump like that. I wonder if there's fall damage. So far not. Okay. Not very difficult in terms of the Oh, hello. Aha! That looks interesting. Let's go up and to the left. I am utterly lost. Okay. And I'm guessing this way, this way, this way. All right. So far, so good. Ooh. 
another box with maybe some weaponry or some new arms or legs. A new head. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Uh, is it this button? Oh, that's not the button. Bop, bop. And it is a common brass head that increases, apparently, my overheat temperature and my damage. Now, does that mean I take more damage or I put out more damage? I'm hoping it is I put out more damage. Cute little mushroom head going on there. I like it. Nice. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hold on. Whew. Panic, panic, panic. And I see a blue ice barrel. Yes. I don't like necessarily how you have to go down to pick up each item. I mean, it's fine. It's not terrible. I can live with it. I am going to need some skills before I get through all of this. All right, uh, back. Does not appear to be fall damage, so that is nice. Cool. Now, look at that. We're halfway to a brand new weapon already. Now, before we go... I still can't get up there. Okay, never mind. No fall damage. Just, uh, chainsaw damage. Okay, good. Buzzsaw damage. Come on, I just want to go... There we go. Um... I probably should heal, huh? Yeah, get a little... Get a little soda juice there. Ow, ow, I'm taking, I'm taking damage. Oh, he got me. He got me. I gotta keep my helmet, though, so that's good, right? Now, how, oh, no, that's, this wasn't where I needed to go. Jump up, jump up. I need to get that buzzsaw guy. And, uh, and this is where I immediately start demonstrating that I wasn't paying attention where I was going. So let's yeah, let's go down this way. I did not lose my stuff. Now what happens if I just jump? Ah. All right. Come on. I am trying desperately to figure out the timing on that jump. And you know, apparently that is not it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get you all. Oh, I don't have any healing. Uh-oh. Well, that's all right. Let's just see what we can do. Maybe there'll be some healing along the way. I mean, there hasn't been yet. All right. You guys can go. Oh, was there? I thought that was moving away. It is not. All right, Buzzsaw Bill. Well, no. <laughs> All right. I can. Well, you know what? Do I need to go buy some oil then? Is that is that my inevitable need? I mean, yes, yes, it is. So, adds a bit of oil to your body. That's not the same as I thought healing. I don't see anything being added up there, so... Huh. All right. Let's give it one more shot. And then, uh, and then we'll see what's next. I do want to figure out... The, the movements don't really feel bad. But they also don't feel powerful. Okay. Oh, go. All right. Got that, but it wasn't very good. All right. All right. 
around the corner. I like the rustic style. I like the art style. It's plenty of fun. Oh, can I just jump? Oh! Ah. Okay, hold on. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to have to do, though. All right, we're going to try it again. I have to hit and run. All right, hold on. Jump over and... Oh, I got him. Okay. Hit him and run. We got that. What was in the box? Just a couple more doodads. Is that it? Okay. Did I get a key or something? I feel like there's got to be a key or something that I need. All right. Hmm. What am I missing here? I feel... Oh, is this another... Can I go down? No, it looks like there's a little cliff there, but I cannot go down. Can I heal up? I can... I can heal up a little bit. Not a lot. But now at least I can see that those... How do I get there? How do? How do? Not there. Come on. Let's just take a few more minutes here to... I mean, if I can kind of cheese you from the ledge, I'm going to do it. Is there anything else? Yeah, there was. Something I picked up there. Now, I am trying to figure out, how do I get there? Oh, right there we go. Okay, jump. All right, now... Is this everything? Yep, yeah, I think so. Let's keep going. Oh, hi. Uh, is this not? Up, up, down, down. Left, left, right, right. No? I thought that was a save button. Is it not a save button? It's not a save button. Oh! If you press down on the elevator, you go down on the elevator. That's nice. Oh, that's an elevator call button. Well, that's fun. What do we got? Ooh, a sword. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we picked up. That is not the button. That is also not the button. I will, perhaps, get better by the end of this game. Maybe. A bronze storm with more damage and armor. And it was the bronze storm that I was thinking about buying, so. Okay, three hits. I should have counted hits for those. I didn't do it, though. Hmm. All right, so. Uh, I do want to see. I go up. It's just automatic. There's nothing I can do. No, there's no pausing or anything here. Okay, back down. Come on. Uh, there we go. Now, there was a robot fly there. That's going to give me some interesting problems, no doubt. I don't like. And stamina, overheat, whatever mode is going to be a problem for... Oh, hello. Is going to be a problem for me. What do you have? Money, 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 money. We'll take it. Is that all there is? Just money. Okay. I wish I could see necessarily where I was on a map. There's got to be a map somewhere. I mean, I know there is. That's what this is, right? This shows me on a board. That's my little fish. I am so cute. Anyhow. Hmm. Don't know... Yep, we'll go ahead and just take care of you the way I've been doing it. Perfectly fine with me. 
And I'm not 100% sure where I'm going next. I do feel like... I do feel like I'm missing something obvious. I probably am. But maybe you have already seen it. You can put something down in the comments below. And I will be able to upload this before... I will be able to upload this before I do anything else. So... Cool. Let's go down and see if I've got any upgrades. I think... I'm pretty sure this is an upgrade platform. Yeah, it is. But I don't see... Huh. I don't know... Yeah, I don't know what that is necessarily. But it looks like a place for me to upgrade. Alright, and I'm finding some... I'm finding some interesting uh, components on the way that I... It appears I may not need to buy components if I can just keep on picking them up. So that's something that I'll figure out. But I tell you what, this I think has gone on far enough. It's a cute little adventure so far. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to try and uh, complete the whole thing. I might, I might not. But if I do, I'll give it, I'll give it a good go. And if you'd like to put some comments down below, maybe you saw something, uh, put down the uh, minute number and I'll take a look. Uh, at the time marker and see what it was, but hit a scarecrow ten times. Okay. Why? Okay, so now I know that there are uh, awards for doing silly things. So perfect. This is excellent. I am the preacher. This is Feudal Alloy, and I'm hoping that I will see you the very next time. All right. Let's do it. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs>